So as a uh, major in a STEM field, I think we've all taken really challenging courses, but I've never taken a course quite like this one. I expected to learn a lot about leadership, whatever that means, but I didn't expect to become more emotionally intelligent and learn how to achieve a better and healthier and happier life-work balance. So ironically, I think the biggest challenge of this year was to condense everything we learned over a year into a five-minute talk. So I chose four examples of challenges that I faced over the last year and how I applied skills from this course to overcome some of those challenges. So the first is through service to the South Bend community. As a co-social chair with the Graduate Student Union, I helped to organize a charity gala benefiting St. Margaret's House, which is a charity that helps women and children in economic poverty. And while we raised more money than we have in the past several years at this event, the week before, I thought that the event was in jeopardy. So through this course, I learned that I have a dominant personality. And one of my weaknesses or blind spots is that I don't ask other people for help when I need it. So I was inspired to fight this urge, and I asked the committee members to collect donations from businesses that we could raffle off. And this helps bring in a lot of extra money at the event. And one week before the event, I learned that only three small donations had been collected, and I was really disappointed in myself for not taking on um, this extra work. And I was initially disappointed in the committee members too, but in the last week, they kicked it into high gear and ended up um, quadrupling the number of donations and made the event extremely successful. And this was an important learning opportunity for me because it taught me to trust others and trust in a diverse team. And just because people do something different than the way that I would do it, doesn't make it less effective. And in this case, I think it made it much more effective. So I hope to continue um, embracing my weaknesses along the way. So the next, next aspect that I got to practice is teamwork. I was the assistant swim coach for the John Adams High School swim team this year. And this experience was very fun and enriching and a very different pace from the lab life that I normally live. And I learned a lot about building teams, overcoming problems, and overcoming failures, and working with high school girls. And one of my favorite moments from the team was for Christmas, the girls got me this Ebola virus stuffed animal because they knew that I study a protein from the Ebola virus. And it made me incredibly proud that they thought of me as a scientist first. And I hope that I impacted at least one of the students to pursue a STEM field as they continue in their academic careers. So next I practice empowering others um, by empowering other graduate students through a new journal club, uh, the Biophysics Journal Club, that my boss initiated starting back up. I got excited about this journal club and got involved in planning the meetings. And uh, with the other leaders, we decided that our ultimate goal was to generate a safe environment where graduate students could learn to comfortably present exciting new research to other graduate students and to professors. So we implemented three different things to make a safer environment for this journal club. The first was to call the presenter a discussion leader. The next was to have the discussion leader sit while going through the paper. And the third was to encourage them to ask questions to the audience and generate a discussion, which ended up being a very fun and exciting environment. So this journal club was um, pretty successful over the fall, and we're excited to, um, we're excited to start back up um, this semester. And finally, I had the opportunity to practice mentorship by helping two undergraduate students work in the lab. So having two different students really taught me that mentoring and teaching is not a one-size-fits-all process. People have different personalities, and my two undergraduates had very different personalities. So it gave me the opportunity to first practice the platinum rule and treat people how they want to be treated, and second, um, to practice my style-flexing um, abilities. So the way I would explain an experiment or data or um, a hypothesis would be different based on the needs of the student, and I think this helped them become more, um, more independent and confident in the lab overall. So this photo shows my undergraduate student, Melissa. After two semesters, she was able to make a poster for the Costjam Undergraduate Research Symposium, and I'm immensely proud of the progress that she's made, and I'm excited to continue working with both undergraduate students um, over this next year. So, Overall, I think that this experience was 
Um, extremely fulfilling to me because of how it changed my ability to understand myself and communicate more effectively with other people in my life. And I'm excited to continue growing as a young scientist and um, embracing my weaknesses, and I hope that the next cohort has such a great experience as well. So, welcome.